Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers, welcome to my 3D corner. In today's episode we're going to talk about arches, how to create arches in 3D Studio Max. As you can see here I found a couple of examples of this room, some of them are pictures, some of them are renders I think, and we're going to see how we can uh, model this, especially this type of arches and uh, these ones. So this is the main image that we're going to use, if you're ready let's just dive in. What we are going to do first, uh, we need to understand exactly what are the sizes of the room. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this in uh, Photoshop and we're going to create a couple of dimensions for this room. They are not going to be exactly the dimensions, but they're going to be only some uh, rough dimensions. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make a dimension for this. So if this chair, the height is, so I'm just going to use red. So for now, we need the dimensions of this. So what we know for sure is that the seat for this chair and the bench is around 450. So this is 450. So probably this is around 300, 350. Okay, then if this is 450, we go another one. Here it's gonna be another 450. So probably this is around 1000. I'm talking about millimeters here. So we are all in the same uh, height. So this, for example, is also 450. I'm gonna just approximate that then if I go one two three all of this is probably another 450 by three so I'm just gonna make it 1400 for now if this is 1400 if I go like this until here probably this is 1600 if this is 1400 then the rays for this circle is 700 then so here I said we have 450 so probably here we have another 150 with another 100 so the total height for this part of the ceiling is let me just calculate that 450 plus uh, plus 700 plus 150 plus 100 so like three meters that's three meters let's see what else so this is 450 this looks also like 450 probably it's also here 450 so 450 with uh, so we have the height we need the width also let's see calculator so i'm gonna go 450 plus uh, 1400 plus 450 equal so the length from here till here which i don't see it is probably 2.300 millimeters just gonna work on millimeters today quite a little bit of accuracy let's see what else do we need in here yeah i think we have uh, most of the stuff just gonna save this gonna call these dimensions just to have it okay so for now we're just going to create a plan for all of this so we need a room that is 2.3 meters so from this line so from this vertical to this vertical we're gonna make we're gonna start our uh, room actually i'm gonna save this as a jpeg i'm just gonna go to customize unit setup it's in millimeters system units i need to make it in millimeters okay okay and uh, this is what we have so what i'm going to do now i want to add my picture in the background because my picture is a vertical image i need to add an horizontal image so it's just gonna be fixed in the middle so what i'm going to do i'm gonna make a print screen of my uh, 3d studio max i'm gonna go to photoshop i'm gonna go file new create i'm just gonna add here my uh, I'm just gonna create my viewport here and now I'm gonna add my picture Control A, Control C, Control V. I'm just gonna make this smaller, try to put it in the middle as much as possible. Save this as a JPEG. I'm gonna call it background for 3D Studio Max. For those who are on my uh, Patreon, they can download this from my Patreon. It's gonna be for everybody. So I'm for following me on my Patreon. And now I'm just gonna go here, Alt B. I'm gonna use files, match viewport. It's gonna go to my files, background, apply. Okay, so now I have my picture here so I can see all the time the, the dimensions that I need. So what we said first, we said that we're going to make a square, which is a 2300 by 2300 to get the size 
of this and also the size of the ceiling so we're gonna start with the middle so what i'm going to do i'm gonna go to rectangle and in here i'm just gonna create a square of 2300 by 2300 and now we have the plan and from here we're gonna start with the rest okay i'm gonna minimize this yeah i didn't calculate the this big arch here because this is the first one that we need to create so we know that is 2300 so we had 450 from here and until here we have another 450 and another 450 so it's probably similar to it so 2900 okay so what we're gonna do now i'm gonna go in the front door view and i'm just gonna create from here till here a rectangle and I'm gonna add to this one the 2900 so this is the height of my first arch and then to this one I'm gonna go and create a circle I'm gonna move this circle here and if I'm looking at this oh yeah it should be fine so it's circle is starting here I'm gonna convert this to netable spline I'm gonna go delete this line because I don't need it uh, with, I'm gonna make everything corner, select these uh, vertices, move them here. I'm gonna go to my circle and also convert to a double spline. I'm gonna delete these two. And what I need to do now is to attach the circle and this uh, square into one object. So I'm gonna select any of them and I'm gonna attach them. And then with selecting the uh, vertex, I'm gonna weld both of them and we have our first arch well we have only the lines of the first arch what we need to do next is to create the interior of the arch so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this and copy it if i select everything and i make a copy you can move it here for now and on the y i'm gonna say minus 100 and we have our first copy and what i need to do now is to create our uh, missing line so what i'm going to do i'm gonna connect all of this vertices okay and now if i apply an a double patch i have my first arch as you can see the arch is divided in many segments but that's quite easy it's because of this is five steps so i can just change this to 32 and it's uh, looking very nice okay now let's see what we have to do next inside of this there is another arch which is much smaller which we said is 1400 height plus the circle and it's coming for the 450 so let's see okay i'm gonna make a rectangle first we said this 400 1400 by 700 i'm just gonna move this here now i'm gonna go 4500 looks so uh, oh it's 4500 the width so i need to add 4500 also here okay this is looking good is it that big it looks a little bit quite big Okay, so what we're, we're gonna do exactly the same what we did before. Gonna, you can also add an double spline here, here, and I'm gonna attach my other object. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna weld these vertices. And now what I need to do with the snap toggle on, I'm just gonna go here, and I'm gonna move this on this side here. Okay, this is looking good well, let's see that also has a depth it's probably similar i will also say 100 okay i will just make a copy of this copy and wait i'm gonna move this minus 100 and i have the other object so i'm gonna attach these two together i'm gonna create here the missing lines I'm gonna use the connect and close to be sure that they're gonna be also closed. And now we need to connect the first arch that we made out of splines to the second one. So what's gonna happen here, I'm gonna attach 
my first one to the second one. And then we need to create lines where these vertices are. So I'm gonna go with the vertex. So these two, they need to connect and this, they need to connect. And also here and on the corners. So then it's gonna create another surface here. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go create line. And I'm gonna go the one in the back with the one in the front. It's gonna ask me if I want to weld them. Of course I want. And now we have this surface. So we have also the connection. For the back we can just uh, create some new uh, vertices here or we can just connect them. Uh, let's see how it's going to be the easiest way. I'm gonna go here to create line. I'm gonna connect these two weld and then I'm just gonna go to uh, vertex, refine, connect connect and refine and closed and I'm gonna go from here okay so let's see how is this working so I'm gonna use uh, the refine as you can see connect linear and closed I'm gonna create a line first weld and then I'm gonna go with refine selecting the first one and the middle of the, this line and with the right click is creating the line and then I'm doing the same I'm selecting the first the middle of the second line click right click closed the same you can also make all of them at once so okay let's see how the editable patch is working so I'm gonna close the grid so as you can see it's looking quite nice already so let's see so we have the interior of this now we need to create the top part of this arch and then we're just gonna copy the same one on the other side with a different width and also on the other side and let's see okay so right now we need to create the one that is going on the top part so let me see again how it's made so we need to ah so it's a 100 distance okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this, close the editable patch for now and uh, go to the spline, select these two splines and with the control shift, I'm just going to make a copy of this. I'm going to move it lower on this part to have it in the same position and now on the Z axis, I'm going to write here 100 and I have my point. Okay, so this is looking good. What I need to do next is to connect this to these points together. So I'm gonna just go to the create line and weld and here the same weld. And what I need to do next, create also here a connection. Weld. I'm gonna unselect this and let's see how it is looking. So we have also the next part. And I think it's looking quite nice here. There is a strange thing happening. Oh, when we created the line, it was not straight. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna create my line again. Also, this one went exactly the same. I'm just gonna redo it. Okay, now it's looking perfect. Okay, I'm gonna save my file. How to create arches in Studio Max. I'm just gonna save it. Okay, let's see what's next. So I have this arch. Now I need the arches on the other side. So I'm just gonna take this and copy it here. As you can see here, we don't have this in our 3D. I'm just gonna show it also here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm gonna copy all this because we have this arch. Oh, yeah. So this part from the bottom, we don't need it. So I'm just gonna delete all of this. Because here we're gonna have uh, the floor. So 
uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm gonna with shift and drag, I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna rotate everything to 90 degrees. I'm gonna go on top and move all of this on exactly on the corner. Okay, so now we're gonna create this part here. So for that, uh, I'm just gonna delete the editable patch for now. As you can see here, we have an arch on this side this one but here we have a window so we're gonna create that window which is similar to this so i'm just gonna look at this and i'm gonna try to fix it so what do we need to do we need to create a circle here so i need to delete all these segments so i'm just gonna go delete recreate my middle circle and create make a copy of it how is this going to work and I'm just going to delete the ones that I uh, have in the middle here because they don't work from uh, I don't know what reason but sometimes, yeah, 3D Studio Max is creating these problems. So I'm just uh, gonna redo everything. And I hope that this time it's gonna work. So I'm gonna add an editable spline to this, attach them together. And to this one, I'm gonna attach my, it's a small problem in here, they are not the same plane so let's move them on the same plane okay so now i'm gonna attach them actually if you look here this width is much bigger than this one here so it's 300 so i'm gonna make it 300 in here points which are 100 and I'm just gonna move them on the X axis minus 200 and then I'm just gonna take the window that needs to be here and I'm gonna make also this one deeper so I'm gonna go here with another 100 just to be sure okay and now I'm gonna try to attach this together and now I'm gonna create the missing lines this oh no it's incorrect I need to go this together and these ones they want to they go together here I'm gonna have something like this and then on the bottom I'm gonna use the refine the connect and refine linear and uh, use the refine connect this point then the middle of this then the middle of this and then with the right click is creating the, the segments okay this looks fine this time let's use an editable patch oh yeah for a reason no or another is not really working Okay, well, it's not working, so what we can do is to delete this point. I'm just gonna refine this and create some new lines in here. Oh, 
Okay, now it worked. So, okay, I'm just gonna take this circle and with Ctrl Shift make another copy, move it to the X axis minus 200, and then uh, create the missing lines, missing segments. Ctrl A weld, and uh, we have our patch. Let's move the 32 by 32 here, and I have the object. Okay, we have uh, now I just need to copy this on the other side and also this one on the other side and uh, to create the room. Okay, so I'm gonna make a copy of this here. Just move it here. As I said here, we don't need the bottom lines. I'm just gonna delete them for now. And also on the other side, we just don't need also the interior. I'm gonna delete all of this. And add my patch like this. Okay, this is looking good. Now I need to copy this also on this part. So I'm just gonna take it, make a copy, rotate everything 90 degrees. Be sure that it's all in the same place and um, yeah, it's already looking quite nice. I'm just gonna add a camera in here. I'm gonna use Corona cam. Oh. I'm just gonna select my camera and go change the field of view. I'm gonna use millimeters. I'm gonna use like 20. Probably it should be the good. Okay, so this is kind of my view. I can go with my camera a little bit more in the back. Go to the flat color. And just change the color of these two black lines. Just make it white maybe. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So the last thing that we need to do, the ceiling part, and the ceiling part, as you can see, it's creating, actually there are four arches that they are connecting exactly in the middle. So if you create one of them, you can just copy it on each side and then you have it. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm gonna Create some lines in here. Okay, I'm also going to divide this in another segment. I'm gonna move all of this the starting point it's here the starting point for the circle no it's actually here and create one and one it's just for me to find exactly the spot where I need to this happening just to find the right spot to to know exactly where my arches is starting what we need to do now is as you can see my arch it's gonna go on the diagonal so this is the middle part, which goes still here. This is the height. So I'm just gonna create this uh, as a reference for now. It's more to understand exactly 
where it needs to go. So this is an arch that we need to create on the diagonal. To do that, what I'm going to do is to, I'm gonna rotate all of this to 45 degrees. And this way I can see my line here. I'm gonna make a rectangle from here to here. And now I'm gonna try to make an arch like this, which is perfect. And now I'm gonna rotate this arch 45 degrees. I'm gonna affect pivot and move this pivot here. So now I know for sure it's in the middle. I'm gonna rotate this to 45 degrees and should be in the perfect spot. Okay, so we have one to create the other one. I'm just gonna go with shift and make a copy of this for 90 degrees. I'm gonna leave only this. Okay, this is the shape that we are looking for. So and from here, I need to take these two. With Ctrl Shift, I'm gonna make a copy and I'm gonna detach them for now. And now I'm gonna move them back in the uh, position. And so this is the shape that we are looking for. So I'm gonna go here and uh, apply an editable spline to this, attach everything together. And um, well, we need to create points here. Refine, uh, connect, refine. The shape is looking uh, good, I will say. I can just go with the C now. So yeah, this is like 1400 by 1100. So probably I need to use here the same save frame if you don't know what save frame is is with the shift f it's gonna show you exactly what you're rendering so you can also go here and show save frame so in the moment that i'm changing the resolution of my render it's gonna change also here so i'm gonna put here custom and i'm gonna have a form to go 1100 by 14. 100. Okay, this is uh, looking better. Maybe the field of view is a little bit too much. I'm gonna make it less. Okay, now uh, we are starting to have the, the arches that we talked about. So, okay, this is not the same number. 32 we used everywhere okay so what i'm going to do that this is working well i'm gonna delete all of this just gonna take this and i'm gonna make a copy of it i'm gonna make a copy also of this so now we have it if i attach everything in one object now apply an editor patch, it should look 
fine. But for now, I'm just gonna merge these ones. So I'm gonna delete the editable patch on three of them. And on this one, I'm gonna attach everything else in one object. And I'm getting this shape. What else I can do? I can weld everything. Okay, for now, I think I'm just gonna leave everything as it is. If I don't like how these two are connecting here later, I can try to merge them in one object. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. For this one, I'm just gonna make a copy of it and uh, to do is so uh, I just want to close the whole space and then the ceiling can also go with this and then this can go also here I'm sure that I'm having a space that is closed. We have two windows, so the light is gonna come through here. And so on the other side, maybe some light is going to come, but uh, yeah, I don't really care about that. And what do I need to do now is to create the floor. So first of all, I'm just gonna open the layers in case you wanna know how to make layers and to how to use them. I made a tutorial about that. Made a tutorial about that. I'm gonna leave the link on the top on the top part. So I'm gonna make a first layer with walls. I'm gonna make another layer with the uh, ceiling. I'm gonna click on it and drag it here. And I wanna make another layer with floor just to have everything exactly where I need. So I'm gonna select my ceiling and move it here, hide it. Then for the rest, I'm gonna create the rest can go in the walls and another layer with cameras, another one with lights. In this case, probably we're not gonna have any interior light. I'm gonna move this to cameras just to organize a little bit the whole thing. The floor, I'm gonna create a floor now. This is going to be a very easy one. Oh, these lines here, they don't really look very nice. There's something that is not looking perfect. Now they are. Okay, so now I'm just gonna trace the interior to create the floor because we need also a floor in here. So I'm just gonna go with 2.5 on the top and I'm just gonna create my Okay, I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna say corner and I'm gonna apply a floor generator to all of this. Uh, I'm not gonna use extrude and bevel. I'm gonna make this uh, 
500 by 500 maybe. Oh no, I don't want a minimum width. I'm gonna make this 500 also. So now they are square. I don't need the crowd length. I want to make it two millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna isolate all of this. Yeah, they are not that. They should be probably bigger, 900 by 900 maybe. Minim offset to zero. In this way, they are all square. And I'm gonna apply a shelf on everything. Zero, oh, minus 10, not oh, 10. 10 millimeters is one centimeter. Maybe 20. Okay, I can also have a chamfer on all of this, but um, yeah, for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I need to find a texture, a good texture for this. I think this is more correct, so it's a black granite. Probably this is a re more, more or less a reality. This looks like reality, just not really going perfectly, but as you can see, it also has a skirting. So let's see where we can find something similar. I found something similar, it's uh, yeah, these textures that are from uh, CG Mood. If you have exclusive credits, you can download them for free. Otherwise, you just need to create, you need to add some exclusive uh, 3D models on this website. And uh, as you can see here, they have exclusive and uh, you can upload them as exclusive and if people are downloading your files you can then use those credits to download so i'm gonna leave this link in the description yeah you cur i currently have 100 ex exclusive credits because i have many uh, 3d models here f uh, that are exclusive so i'm just gonna download this and i'm gonna use these textures for creating the floor so these are the textures and they have also an ambient occlusion, the height map. So this is for the displacement, the normal and the roughness. So yeah, let's use this for now. We are looking good. I don't like this sharp edge in here, but we can fix that from the uh, from 3 Studio Max. So what I'm going to do, uh, I had I made this with the floor generator. I'm going to um, use retopology in here. Let's compute 5,000 faces. Let's see how it's going to look. It's not that bad. I need a little bit more. Let's put 1,500. Let me just save the file before I'm doing that. It can, it's also possible that it's gonna crash. Okay, this is nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna apply a noise. So as you can see, the noise is getting changed. It's changing my uh, geometry for a bit, only on the X axis. If I put in 45, and I don't need 45, I just need like 20 on this and 35 on this, maybe even less 15. And I'm gonna add the shell over right now. So I'm gonna get this height. I'm gonna add the chamfer. But the chamfer, I'm just gonna make it one here. So I'm getting these corners. And now I'm gonna apply a turbo smooth over this. And now I'm getting these uh, edges here that are not perfect. Yeah, it's looking good, but it's better to have a little bit of more this segment. So what I'm going to do over here, over retopology, I'm gonna have the turbo smooth just to create more uh, segments. And now I'm just gonna make the noise a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go with seven on X and uh, I don't know, nine here. And I'm gonna make the scale maybe 50% smaller. And then you can see now we don't have those straight lines, which is also going to help unhide the ceiling. I'm gonna just look at this and uh, try to create that uh, the window. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select the line with the shift and control pushed. I'm gonna drag another circle. I'm gonna detach this. And now on this one, I'm gonna go affect pivot center to other object. Move this here. I'm gonna use a sweep. This 20 by 
20. The sweep was an angle I wanted into a bar. I'm gonna have it inside. I'm gonna make a 30 maybe by 20. I'm gonna use also 32 segments here to have a little bit more. Just make it 35 then 150. And this is going to be my window. I'm gonna Okay, it's not that bad. I'm gonna add a chamfer at this to be sure that they have some details in there. Details are very important in 3 Steel Max. I'm gonna make a tutorial only about this. Because if you want to achieve uh, realism, you need, you need details. Okay, this is looking good. I'm just gonna take these two together and I'm gonna add them over this. This should be in the middle of the sweep, maybe like this. I don't know if the window has if it's opening or not. Oh, it's fine, it's totally fine for now. Oh yeah, the only problem is that it went the other way around. So 35, I can also have it 50 if I want to. I'll just a punch. Okay, this is looking good. This I don't want to see it in the viewport. So we need the glass now. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna apply an editable poly over this. I'm gonna double click on the line, create shape, and we have glass. Oh, I just need to go here, affect pivot center to the object, move this in the middle, and apply a shell where I'm gonna use one limit on one side and one on the other. Just strange that it doesn't show anything. Okay, it's not working, but it's no problem. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna make a circle out of it I'm just gonna add more interpolation here 32 and I'm gonna apply the shell now now it's working this is looking good I'm gonna look at these two together okay this is in the middle this is what I want this is the window I'm gonna group it I'm gonna need to check if it's in the right layer I'm just gonna copy it here for now instance so I'm gonna call this class one and this one I'm gonna open the group and I'm gonna select only the class and this is class two I'm gonna create quickly a material for it oh no I'm gonna save as default okay I'm gonna create fast non physical material not metal fraction on roughness off and we have a glass material I'm gonna apply this here and here for now I'm gonna go to my camera then a render setup I'm gonna have a noise limit for now for two in here denoising of course I use Intel CPU now 0.80.8 doesn't matter it's the same thing for the environment I'm gonna use a Corona Sky and the red visibility white and another thing that we need to do I'm gonna use a mod material override and here I'm gonna use a Corona physical material I'm gonna open this of the Corona physical material here as an instance and this is going to be my white material for now I'm gonna use here 220 that's the maximum white that in my opinion you should go but more than that it's very very white and bright and uh, yeah corona doesn't like it and the uh, last thing that we need to do is to exclude the class one and two okay just gonna save and um, so this is our interior uh, it's looking quite well as you can see here we have some problems the light is coming in through the uh, small gaps that we have in there but we can fix that uh, also the floor is a little bit low and we have some light coming in through here we can also fix that I'm just gonna do it right now so I put the shell here in inner amounts which is going on the bottom so I'm gonna add here 20 so it's gonna go up now and that should fix the problem for now uh, what else we have in here is the editable patch here doesn't have a thickness we should add here thickness to it outer amount so I'm just gonna add here then it's enough as long as we have something on the ceiling on the on the walls we need to add that also on the ceiling part now it should fix the, those small gaps from where the light is coming in 
let's see how everything is actually looking it's not bad it's already looking quite nice so the only thing that we need to do is to change this blue color which i don't really like i'm gonna open the material slot f10 I'm gonna take the corona sky in here as an instance in our render everything was white so enable clouds mount one let's see how it's everything looking now it's still blue it's not anymore so now we have a white interior okay let's see a uh, simple exposure we can add some more light if we want to I'm going lower, you can see the clouds, which is very nice actually. Uh oh, white balance it can stay as it is. Contrast. I'm not really using the Aces OT. So we can go with the. Um, advanced filming. Actually, filming mapping. And to see everything better, we need to add tone curve. So yeah, this was the first part of this uh, episode. In the second part, I'm going to create all the materials uh, for this file. I'm also gonna add some furniture, some lights, and so on, uh, just to explain roughly how to illuminate your scenes with the uh, uh, sun and sky in Corona Render 9 and um, yeah please don't forget to subscribe please share it with your friends in case you find everything useful I'm gonna save this file on my patreon for uh, for the membership Knight and Jedi Master so you can download it from there in case you yeah it didn't work out very well for you so you can see my 3d model how it's looking and um, yeah please don't forget to like this video if you find it useful share it with your friends and see you in the next one. Bye.